Welcome, welcome to the Bloody Rosa Homestead. Well, I thought maybe I would do some videos because I love planting my herbs. I love using my herbs. And there's so many different ways to use herbs. There's so many different herbs out there. So I thought, let's start off with basil. I figured I'd start A, B, C, and go on. Um, I did take some notes so I didn't forget anything. So first we're going to start off with basil. Basil, there's 150 different varieties of basil. But today we're going to focus on two. One is your sweet basil and the other one is holy basil. Those are the two I basically grow. My sweet basil, I grow the green and I grow the purple. Holy basil is green. Okay? Another word for basil is osum basilicum. And of course, that's your sweet basil. Uh, the parts that you can use with basil would be your leaf and the flowering top. Greatest parts to use. Uh, it is deemed safe, so there's no harmful side effects or anything that you can get with using basil. So you can relax and enjoy basil. Basil is just, it, the, the scent is so beautiful very comforting how to use it you can use it uh by crushing the leaves together for insect bites you crush them really really good then kind of push them together if they're kind of on the dried outside put a little like a drop of water on it make it like pasty put it on top of your insect bite and let it sit there for about 15 20 minutes and you'll start feeling that you won't have that itchiness. Uh, some people have also used it for if they have eczema or anything like that. Again, just put it on it, hold it on it, rub it really good in, and it should really help with the itching. And with the insect bites, it's also good for um, taking the sting out of it. Uh, you can make a tea with it. And... It is very good for headaches and for stress. Uh, you use one part basil leaf, one part lemon balm leaf, and a quarter part of chamomile, and then you infuse it for about 10 minutes. I just ordered today from Amazon, it's a 40 ounce glass teapot, an infuser, and it's got the infuser in the middle so I could put all my herbs right in there. I could put any fruit in there and then pour the water on it and then just let it sit. So glass teapots are one of the best teapots to use for infusing. Uh, basil is known to be high in caffeic acid, beta carotene, and vitamin C. We all know how important vitamin C is. Okay? So Another thing you could make would be a pesto. Pesto is very good. You would use one cup of olive oil, three cloves of garlic, one cup of cilantro, half a cup of basil, a half a cup of dandelion leaves, and a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. Get it all together, mix it up really good, smash it up, and then you could use it right like that, or you could put it in ice cube trays ice cube trays and when you want to use it you just pop out the ice cube trays ice cubes how many you want warm it up and there you got pesto you can use it anytime the next type of basil we're going to talk about is holy basil uh it's otherwise known as tulsi which is kind of neat you could make a tincture with it and what you do is you chop up a bunch of the leaves you place it in a glass jar. You cover your herbs with about 80% or more of vodka. You always have to make sure that the vodka is about two to three inches above the basil. Now basil will float to the top, so just turn the jar upside down every day and allow then the, the, the leaves to go up to the top. Then you turn it back around and you let that go for, keep it, seal it in the jar, keep it in a warm, sunny spot. 
Um, I usually keep mine right here on my uh, kitchen, by my kitchen window, the counter there. And you leave it for four to six weeks. And then after four to six weeks, you take off the top and you strain it. What I usually do is I will turn around and put that into the little brown amber jars, or you could use one big jar. But that's a great tincture to use for headaches or for uh, stress. And I just put a few drops in tea just to help it out. So that's a good thing to do. You can make vinegar. Yes, holy basil vinegar. You fill a glass bottle three quarters of the way full with your basil. Again, it's gonna to float to the top. Then you have to use unpasteurized apple cider vinegar. And you wanna fill it all the way up to the top. Then every day, just go back and forth. Again, put it in a sunny, warm window or any place warm. Some people put it over the refrigerator because the heat coming up from the refrigerator. And you leave that there for three to four weeks. And then after that, you just strain it. Strain it into a nice bottle. I wanna show you something that I've got here. Look at these fancy bottles I got. This one is Villa Blanca Extra Virgin Olive Oil. It's a robust flavor for everyday use. But they're like bottles. You can get all different kinds of funky bottles and put your things in there. Works really well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short video. It wasn't supposed to be long. It's about seven minutes long. Hope you like the videos. Please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. It's important. More thumbs up is better for us to get. And leave a comment. Thank you to the last person that left a comment on my page where I made no need sandwich bread. Oh, it's so yummy. I put a little fig chutney on it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, please subscribe. Love to have you come on this journey with me. And my next one's going to be about cay cayenne pepper. I'll see you then. Have a great day. Bye-bye, everybody.